kind of have a very small rant um, about something that police do that really just irks the fuck out of me. Nebraska, New Mexico, and I believe North Carolina have all banned the practice, abolished the practice of it. Other states have not. There's one particular county, I can't remember the state, but there's one county in the U.S. that has <laughs> uh, a disproportionate uh, amount of civil asset forfeiture. And if you don't know what that is, that's when a cop <clears throat> says, I think uh, that water bottle in your car is connected to a crime. I'm going to seize it because I have a reasonable cause. I believe I have a reasonable, you know, beyond a reasonable doubt. You know, and the same can happen if you have money. If you're traveling with money, if you're trying to move to a new state, and you don't want your money in the bank, and you earned this money fair and square, you don't need to prove if you're a cop, that this money is actually linked to a crime. It's drug money. A cop can steal your money. And where does that money go? Some say it goes to charity. I really don't believe that. You know, in many cases, this is going to buy the police department where this cop is from a new uh, vending machine or a pool table, or a jukebox, or some other bullshit that the police want to spend their, their ill-gotten gains on. Cops can be, in the United States, legal pirates. Legalized piracy. That's what civil asset forfeiture is, and what it has become. And one thing that really fuels this, uh, this narrative that a cop can steal your money that you're traveling with, if they decide to pull you over, if they decide to get a drug-sniffing dog to give a false reading, a, a false alert, they, they train dogs to give a false alert when they want to, like, either plant drugs on you or just pretend like, oh, well, I got I, could, I gotta search the car now, the dog yelped. Uh, they'll go through your glove box. If you have money in a safe, they'll just seize the safe. And say, well, I think this safe is is in a crime, and it, your property needs to be brought before a court, and the and the property needs to needs to prove that it it wasn't uh, related to a crime. One thing that fuels this bullshit is the drug war. Cops can say, oh, well, you're traveling with money. You must have got this illegal money through selling drugs. You know, we really don't believe in freedom and liberty in this country. If we're arresting adults for possessing, say, whatever psychedelic, whatever hard drug, you know, there's heroin, meth, cocaine, these drugs are controlled, and, and you're punished in the same way for having these drugs as you are for having drugs like ketamine, uh, DMT, mushrooms, psilocybin, you know, LSD. These drugs alter your consciousness, and the, the government is afraid of that. Why are things like psychedelics, like LSD, like acid, like marijuana, especially psychedelics, all of these drugs illegal, MDMA, you know, why are they illegal? Well, they're illegal because Nixon wanted more votes. And the way in which he thought the best idea to get more votes for himself is to criminalize the lifestyle of all the people who were voting against him. The hippies. This is not, this is not a new thing. This is not a revelation. Like pe people, people don't like to think about this. A lot of research and study in development into learning about how psychedelics like LSD, psilocybin, all of these like drugs that are illegal can actually be used in a way, responsibly, and in a way to help people with their personal issues like their mental health, depression, whatever it is. The study of these things have been, were placed in a dark age, all because of what Nixon wanted. And as another consequence of this stupid 
bullshit war on drugs, cops can legally steal your shit and say, I thought it was drug money. They can steal your money and say, I thought it was drug money. They can steal your car. I say, I thought it was a drug car. They can steal your U-Haul, everything in your U-Haul. If you're, if you're going, if you're traveling across the country, this has happened to many, many, many people. They can steal your shit and say, well, I thought it was used in a drug crime, boy. That's all I got to say. All they have to do is have a dog give a false alert. All the cop has to do is plant drugs on you. Because we know how fucking corrupt some fucking cops are. Because I'm white, I'm probably less afraid of being shot by a cop. But it's still intimidating when you have a dude with a gun who can basically legally get away with killing people nowadays in this country walking up to your, your window. Like, it, it's kind of nerve-wracking to talk to a cop. Why is it nerve-wracking to talk to a cop? Because they have loaded guns. That's why it's nerve-wracking. Well, if you're not doing anything wrong, you have nothing to be nervous about. You have a man with a gun speaking to you with authority. And this person can get away with killing you and get a paid vacation for it. Doesn't matter if you're unarmed. If you may, if the cop says, I feared for my life, they can fucking get away with killing you. They can, if, if a cop says, I thought your, your money was drug money, they can get away with stealing money. The drug war needs to end. Police need to stop, states need to abolish civil asset forfeiture because it's legalized piracy. And we need to allow adults to recreationally take these drugs. We need to stop badgering people, adults, over their personal decision, individual liberty to alter their state of uh, mind. The same way we let, we do it with cigarettes, we do it with nicotine. We do it with alcohol. But uh, apparently those are okay when cigarettes and alcohol probably poison you. Probably. Poison you a thousand times more than eating a, a wild mushroom. That can actually help you confront trauma and confront your your spirit your spirit and and learn more things about yourself go into your psyche challenge your ego but you can't do that not legally in a lot of states i cannot for the life of me understand why so few states are pushing for the legalization of mushrooms and the legalization of lsd and uh, ketamine and all of these psychedelics for personal use. And they could take the revenue that adults spend their money on and put it towards, I don't know, schools, our roads, our, you know, infrastructure all over the place. Our, we've got we've got airports falling apart. And based on how much money the airlines make, it's it's a wonder. Things like the airlines being bailed out during COVID-19, but we can't uh we can't bail the people out. We can't give people a stimulus check. But we can arrest people on the suspicion of wrongdoing. Not for wrongdoing, but on the suspicion of wrongdoing. And we wonder why there's so many homeless people. There's so much mental health going on. There's so much bad mental health going around. We don't know what to do about it. We don't understand why all these mass shootings happen. So let's just send our thoughts and prayers. Your thoughts and prayers don't do shit. Science does shit, psychology does shit, and legalized psychedelics can do shit. A lot of good shit. So stop stealing people's stuff and legalize fucking uh, drug use already.